Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video series, we're going to deploy a Blazor static page to ma many different cloud services from different tools. Later in the series, we'll compare the different services to see which one is the best performance and the best option for us. In this video, we're going to look at deploying our static site from Visual Studio to an Azure Windows web application. So let's get started. So this is a really easy way to kind of like test that everything works in the cloud and make sure that your site is working and I recommend only doing this for development uh, obviously afterwards you might want to create a whole uh, github actions pipeline that we will cover in a different video so let's just get started so we have our static uh, blazer application kind of like the regular application with the weather data the usual template we're just going to go to publish And in here, it's going to ask us where to publish. So in this case, we're going to publish to Azure. And then we're going to select Windows. And different videos will check out different options. Now we're going to create Next. And in here, we can see that we have some web applications. In this case, we're just going to create a new one. I, I want to do the whole thing because one of the cool things is it will create all the resources you need. So in here, we're just going to create a new blazer um, resource group and I'm just gonna add it to my hosting plan just so it doesn't cost me more money uh, and we're just gonna call it regular blazer static deploy so we're gonna just to make sure that we get the right URL and we're just gonna create it so right now in the background it's going ahead and creating the, the resource group and the app service and everything on Azure. So now we can see here the web app has been created so we're going to select it and click finish. And if we see here in Azure basically it created the resource group deploy blazer and it created a blazer static deploy coding flamingo app service. So now if we go here right if we go here right now it's probably going to be the default uh, website so yeah this is the default Azure you haven't deployed anything site so now let's deploy something and as we can see now we're in the Azure website and we have our application so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one